Hello everyone! Even if you're staying in a paradise, there are still some troubles. Yes, even in paradise. In this episode, we are going to show you what we were struggling with in Montenegro, what happened with our VHF and what work we needed to do to solve this problem. You think we're ready, yeah? Let's hope so. It's been almost an hour. And yes. it has been fine. That's because we're doing things like Lumos to the perfection. Okay. It's for you, Bowen. <sighs> we are about to change our antenna on top of the mast. And the cable. And the cable. So now he has been trying to do his cabling thing and understanding what he needs to do. And then we need to run the cable on top of the mast to change the old one and I have to take him up there. And I still hope that it will change anything because we already bought the new VHF thinking that it was the VHF problem. But it seems that it was all along just maybe the cable and the antenna that didn't work. It's super warm out here in Montenegro. So the weather is nice. Sunny. The dog is chilling. Are you chilling? Everything seems to be perfect. Not that much wind, so it should be okay for him to be up there also. So let's see. Preparations. He's gonna put uh, two halyards on, your, on himself. And I'm gonna pull him up. Just there. It's gonna be hard work. I will pull you with the topping list first then. Why are you so slow? Why are you so fat? Yeah. It's my workout. It's my workout. Only quarter done. Still 14 meters to go. Yay. What are you doing? There. Almost there. And you remove the silicone where the two black uh, cables are going out from the mast. He's up there. But I need to remove the silicone from here. So I need to unmount that guy. Let's see. And pass the cable through this hole here. Oh. This is the best I can do, I think. I think the new cable will come out of in here and then. Let's see. Ça va? The silicone is gone. Oh. 
so on my side this is set up but now I need really to manage to get the cable down there it's coming seems stuck again a bit yeah yeah, little by little, if you do back and forth like this. Oh, my hands. Hello, yeah. It was really stuck. My hands are painful even from pulling this. But we got it. We got it. We saw. I was so happy when I saw the MacGyver tape. I think I have never been that happy. <laughs> Let's hope it works also. What kind of job you should do when the boat is this messy? Yeah, I know. We never do jobs that the the way they should be done. Chicken. Can you bring the vacuum, please? Pick this down, it doesn't go anymore. First night in Montenegro where we are spinning around like crazy and most probably won't have any any sleep. It's just crazy because the wind is making us turn not 360 degrees, but I have no idea. It le just looks like we are dancing with the boat in the sea when the gusts are really strong. And Jim just now went to check uh, the dinghy if it's well attached to the boat. Mm, we have our friends really close by, which I'm a little bit afraid of that. You never know. But uh, yeah, but it's sleeping well. I hope we will get some get some sleep as well. Not sure. The wind is supposed to get calmer in the morning. No, I can even feel some swell. So what do we think about today's night? How is it gonna be for us? And we will have a dinghy in the morning, still attached area. Yeah? Let's hope so. <laughs> oh, I really wish I would be me up and we could sleep with this kind of dance on the on the sea, the dance that the boat is doing. You like my boobs? My bra? You have a nice bra, yes. Looks like a tank top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> the moment of truth is over. Attention, it's brutal. We are not working or not. Porto Montenegro, Porto Montenegro, Porto Montenegro. This is sailing vessel bateau. Do you copy? How come it's not working then? We have a situation here. VHF and AIS are not really working properly. My captain says that the AIS is working now, but the VHF is not working for sure because we changed the VHF. But now we changed the cable and the antenna, but it's still not working, most probably because of the, some sort of connectors here. With all this hassle with our VHF not working, Jim needs to still do his everyday work. And then when we have the spare time, we can check again what's the deal with that. I sent Jim with me about there to check this Scottish instrument that is played. I 
today and we need to go through that small channel there. Oh. So now we are raising huh? rain the water what? and like no and Teddy is here. So I'm recording we could after when we are anchor anchored. Then maybe we can go with the dinghy to take him to go in the park and after to take her ice cream and Is it tense? And I could play in the park and so Are we okay? You put the anchor, everything is okay, Sophia? Yeah? No? You can Look at that. A Divot Bay in Montenegro. It's just amazing. It is so pretty. But the reason why we, why we came here is not that nice. We came here close to that marina here because we are still struggling to put our VHF to work and um, we are expecting to have some specialists coming today to check why the why it's not working the most well spent 100 euros of our life so for such a short time the problem was in the connectors they were short circuited but now it's all fixed and our VHF is working and we are ready to go Going full speed from that tiny place over there. We came through that, but there's a really bad rope over there, so I should be checking exactly again where it is. I think the shallowest part was around four meters, which is okay for our boat, but still uh, there are some rocks and there was a weird rope that was in there, so we need to be careful with that. Oh, these things are so stressful because it puts you so much stress because if you don't see it or you see it too late then it's can be dangerous. The rope can be in our propeller and keel and and then we are here in the shallow and the propeller doesn't work and then it's not the best, right? Um, but at the moment I just no, I can't see it now. I think it was more over there. Yay, we made it through. No problems at all. Our friends are waiting over there. We will have a nice barbecue today. That's uh, it's Friday. It's end of the working day and we have uh, prepared some salads, uh, some muffins and we will go to the shore and have a barbecue. So yay, barbecue time. Um, today is a little bit colder, but but at least it's sunny. And I think we will have a nice time. That evening was definitely a special one. All the boats in that anchorage got together at the beach to have a barbecue. We met some really nice and interesting people. That was so much fun. Lovely to meet new people and hopefully we will meet them somewhere again. We send the sun to sleep along with the bagpipes sound.